Well, it's a new year, everyone, so it's time to go somewhere we haven't been before. Let's go to the park! And today, that place is SeaWorld San Diego. It's been a little while since I've been here, so I'm looking forward to seeing all the new stuff. Well, new to me anyways. And by little while, I mean since like second grade. So it's good to get reacquainted with an old friend. But this old friend was around long before I ever came to visit. Back in the early 1960s, a group of four UCLA graduates named George Millet, Milton Shedd, David DeMott, and Ken Norris had the idea to open an underwater restaurant with a marine show, but ultimately decided that it wasn't feasible. Having seen the success of a park called Marine Land, the four decided to build a 22-acre marine zoological park in the Mission Bay area of San Diego. Just a hop, skip, and a jump from Belmont Park. And on March 21st, 1964, SeaWorld San Diego opened with dolphins, sea lions, two seawater aquariums, and a total of 45 employees. The park was an instant hit, with more than 400,000 people visiting in just its first year. And after the success of the first park in San Diego, the company started to open more locations across the United States. SeaWorld Ohio opened in 1970, SeaWorld Orlando opened in 73, and the largest of the parks opened in San Antonio in 1988. You know, SeaWorld's been known for a lot of things over the years, but the park's orca shows were one of their most iconic features for a long time. But in January of 2017, SeaWorld ended the orca shows in San Diego and began phasing out their breeding program. The parks in Florida and Texas are reported to be ending their orca shows in 2019. And there is no park in Ohio anymore. And in its years of existence, the park has expanded beyond animals, shows, and conservation efforts. They've also added rides, with a higher emphasis on thrill as time goes on. There's the 320-foot tall Sky Tower that was built by Intamin in 1969. You might be familiar with some of their other rides. The Bayside Sky Ride, which opened in 1967, and later on, the Electric Eel, Manta, and the Journey to Atlantis Water Coaster, which is currently under refurbishment. But SeaWorld San Diego isn't done with the rockin' and roller coastering just yet. Not by a long shot. The Tidal Twister is scheduled to open in 2019, and the Mako Dive Coaster is planned for 2020. So we'll be watching for the opening of those sweet looking rides. You better believe it. But because it's been so long since I've been here, I haven't ridden any of the coasters that are here now. So it's time to change that. Unfortunately, because it's refurbishment season, the Electric Eel is the only coaster that's up and running today. So let's go see what other kind of fun we can find. After all, this is SeaWorld. There's all kinds of life here. Got horseshoe crabs, bamboo sharks, and these little things. And there's, of course, these majestic creatures. And of course, the smartest of all creatures, dolphins. All right, time to keep moving. So long, guys, and thanks for all the fish. They've got seals and sea lions.
Once again, these creatures are members of the Pinniped family. And you may be wondering, what in the world is a Pinniped? Well, the Pinniped family is a family consisting of marine mammals that includes seals, sea lions, Guadalupe fur seals, as well as walrus. <laughs> Big eye sharks. Those are some big sharks. And they got some real little ones down there. They're just babies. Now this is pretty cool, but I want a closer look. So let's go under the sea. Here at the shark encounter, they got this cool glass tube to get a closer look at the sharks. Now, even though there's some rides that aren't operational today, some of the other ones are. So let's go check those out. Let's start with this classic and get a good view of the city and the park. Welcome aboard Sky Tower. For your safety and the safety of others, we ask that you please stay seated. I'm gonna go make the Shredder proud. What do you mean they're not that kind of turtle? Oh my gosh, they're huge. And one poser. It's not called Seagull Encounter for a reason.
you know, I told one of those penguins that it looked like he was wearing a tuxedo, and he said, how do you know I'm not? And since we're in the neighborhood, might as well do this one. I'm Zach from Bay Station Wild Arctic, and I'm here to give you a glimpse of some of the amazing animals you'll see on your journey today. Blubbery beluga whales are up first. These all-white whales are specialized for scavenging under sea ice. Next, you'll spot the Arctic's top predator, the polar bear. The largest of all bear species, polar bears prowl the sea ice in search of their favorite meal, seals. And sea lions. Now I would like to direct you to our cabin crew, who will prepare you for boarding. Now that is some wild arctic. It's like Star Tours, but without all the getting shot at. And when you get here to the base station, they got beluga whales to look at. You can see how they're using a combination of whistles and motions and uh, words to work with their animals. You can also see here the fed pieces of fish and ice. Now, even though they live in salt water, they cannot metabolize it, so that means they can't drink salt water, just like we can. So in order to get their fresh water, they can get it through the fish they eat and through ice. Oh, the base station is well stocked. You know, I don't think Ritz has made those in a while. They might be expired. A 286? I don't think it'll run Doom. Because everybody knows. That's what people working in the Arctic like to do. Play Doom on 286s. Maybe a little Commander Keen if they're in the mood. Yep, they look comfortable. Oh, and did I mention? It's actually cold in here. That was really cool. Just remember, if you do take a trip to the Arctic, remember to bring a jacket. The Arctic gets chilly. Okay, I have to do this one one more time. <laughs> All right, well, it's about that time once again for me to head home. Thanks for coming along to SeaWorld San Diego. I really appreciate you joining me today. This park is so full of life. Uh, we might just come back a little bit later for an inside look. But for now, till next time, see you later.